In pre-processing, we also need to consider author rectification, uh, putting, stretching the image so that it's uh, lying correctly on the Earth's surface, so to speak, uh, because our image to begin with is going to have distortions uh, because we're uh, looking from, we have a single point uh, of view, and so objects in the distance are smaller. Uh, not, uh, not anything unfamiliar. Um, and also objects get hidden, far objects are hidden behind near objects, potentially. Um, but uh, we have this, this idea of the parallax distortion, uh, which we need to both utilize, uh, but also counter. So we're looking down on the earth, uh, and we're looking at the, an object, and here we have a tall building, obviously none of this is to scale, um, and we can see those points that we can directly access, we can see those uh, um, easily there, uh, and they would appear to be in their correct location in regards to the surface of the Earth. Whether uh, This is not in considering the, the stretch of the image due to, to uh, the fact that we uh, have the single point perspective, but you know, th this is uh, dealing with the, the problem of elevation. Uh, because now when we try to measure the, uh, the top of the building here, we can see that uh, actually it gets projected down uh, to another location. And similarly, when we look at an object even farther away, that may, may even be smaller, we get a similar distortion. So that when we transfer those down onto a map, our measurements end up, instead of having these, uh, these tall buildings sticking straight up, they tend to lean over, creating these longer objects like this. So their true shape uh, should be down there like this, but what we see is uh, the, are these extended leaning objects because of this parallax distortion. And this is actually something that, as I said, that can be utilized. We can use it to estimate uh, the, the height of these buildings if we have another image to compare with or some other reference data that we can use to correct this, uh, this image. Uh, so the, the this distortion isn't entirely, uh, it's not always helpful, but it's not always a problem either. So, somehow that didn't quite work out. So we want our buildings to look like that. We also need to consider the ground um, for another reason. So we are relying on the, the light being reflected back to our sensor. Um, and the atmosphere is already making a mess of things. The distance from the sun is already altering things, but we also have a topographic effect, the slope and aspect of the surface that's doing the reflecting. So if the geometry um, between the, the sun and the sensor and the, the, the lay of the land, so to speak, is correct, we can get uh, a pretty good signal strength reflected back at the satellite, the, the sort of as much as we can have it, the full signal strength. But if we start leaning in some, the slope is, in, is away from the, the, the sun or away from the sensor, we can lose a lot of the signal. If it's heavily sloping, then it just passes off and goes somewhere else. And this needs to be accounted for. So the strength of the signal being received at a particular location will depend not only on the strength of the signal coming from the sun through the atmosphere, but how much of it is actually being reflected back not due to the qualities of the, 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 the land cover or the thing at that point, but which way it's facing as well. So that, this needs also to be corrected for. Um, for this, we, uh, we do need a DEM, uh, an elevation model, uh, in order for this to work. So this is data, uh, uh, data requirement over and above the, the, the satellite image itself. Another term that we... Um, can look at when it comes to uh, pre-processing is something called normalization. And this is um, this is a way of, of, of getting around a lot of these other problems, um, uh, but also um, it, it helps us um, in, in comparing data. Now, this might be to compare data over time or it might be to compare data uh, over a larger area. So we have within scene, so that's where we're in the same area, 
and note the, the word scene here, so within scene, which means that we are looking at different images. And we normalize these images, looking at the same area, so that they all appear to have the same um, amount of radiation coming in. The, the conditions between them are comparable, so that whatever differences in illumination we see, the, the signal strength that we're getting is related then to something that's happened on the ground, not to the atmosphere or the illumination or anything like that. Um, and a cross scene does something similar, uh, except that it's all taken at the, at the same time, just in different parts of the Earth, usually next to each other, so that we can compare areas and, and know that the, the signal we're seeing there is due entirely to the land cover, the thing that's reflecting, rather than to differences in illumination.